Connor is on a journey, shaking up how we get around. The average distance that people drive their car in the United States is about two miles, and 93% of car trips are one person. What are we doing? Meet the ELF, which stands for electric, light, and fun. Yes, yes, and yes. So the ELF really is the Model T of urban mobility. It's about healthy commuters. It's about more livable cities. It's about saving thousands of dollars a year. And it's about having a positive effect on climate change. So that's a pretty nice package right there. The light bulb went off 30 years ago when he built his first 100 kilometer an hour tricycle. If you can go highway speeds with one or two horsepower, that we were doing something dramatically wrong. And it just kind of changed my perspective on technology and really the direction of my life. Rob tweaked the design for five years, then posted it to Kickstarter. In 30 days, he raked in $250,000. Now, Elf is coming to a city near you. Jerry Seinfeld has one, I've heard. He rides around with his two kids and a dog in it. So this is where it all starts. This is the frame. This is aluminum 6061T. And uh, it's all TIG welded and uh, very light, as you can see. All the hardware is stainless steel. So there's no paint anywhere on the vehicle. So very limited on corrosion. The basics, like pedals and handlebars, are added to the frame, along with a DC electric motor and a double flywheel that lets riders pedal, switch to electric, or both. The electric takes you up to 20 miles per hour. That's the legal limit uh, to remain a bicycle. And then you can pedal faster than that. So some people get up to about 30 miles an hour. We're doing about 28 miles an hour. Just humming along. Super efficient. So here's where the body and the frame become integrated. One of the pieces that holds the Elf together is also a power source, 100 watt solar panels. For a conventional electric vehicle, it'd be very difficult to have solar panels have any, uh, uh, any significant effect. But on a vehicle that weighs 150 pounds, it's a big effect. So we're drawing about 40 amp out, amps on acceleration, but as soon as we get up to speed, we're down to about four or five amps draw. So it's really, really good. After seven hours of charging the battery, the Elf can travel the equivalent of 765 kilometers per liter of gas. Some of these people are going a thousand miles a month. Uh, they tell us that in six, seven, eight months, they'll actually have paid back on the cost of the vehicle by not using the regular automobile. A smartphone app tracks calories burned or CO2 saved. The open doors are designed to shed water away and prevent side winds. And having lights, a high profile, and a mango colored shell sure make it easy to spot. But when that's not enough? A car went through a stop sign and ran broadside right into an elf and kept on pushing an additional 30 feet. And nothing happened to the rider. We do rapid iteration, so we're constantly making changes. We've made about 30 changes since the fall, and we're constantly incorporating that into the next model, next model. So, Dwayne, I'm just going to put the parking brake on here, All right. which is right here. It's this pin on this one? Yes, sir. Rob loves customer feedback. Great news for the latest ELF owner, Dwayne Stutzman. And then here's the bell. Got to have a bell. After a quick tutorial? So we do like a little Fred Flintstone to back up. Just got to watch your shins. Dwayne is the open road. As wonderful as bicycles are, not everyone was comfortable riding a bike. Either the hills are too big, or the balance is an issue, or they can't carry their groceries, or their children, or the weather's too significant. And we created the Elf to kind of answer those issues. As you can see, he's moving at a pretty good rate of speed. Despite rave reviews, Rob isn't stopping here. He's already working on future models, including the Ox, a heavyweight truck version for deliveries, and one that's wheelchair accessible. And the other end of the spectrum is in developing nations. They can go and pick up 55 gallons drum of water in a couple of hours. When they come back to the village, the pedal and the solar can be used as a micro utility station to charge up their radios, flashlights, water purifiers, and things like that. Until then, Rob will keep showing the world, one rider at a time, that his way of getting around makes a lot of sense. If we can help the environment and have a little fun at the same time, I mean, that's a win-win if you ask me, so. 
Cool beans, man. Cool beans.